And next, she oh. is an actress and director whose body of work includes Saving Hope, House of the Dead, and Supergirl. Today, should we talk to her about the role of intrepid reporter Lois Lane? Please welcome back Erica Durantz. Hi! Erica! Hey. Hey. I liked it. My body of work with House of the Dead was maybe one of my least favorite <laughs> things. But what I will say is it got me my last credit to get in the union, so you do what you do. Okay, all right, all right. I will, I will, I will scratch that. I, you know what it is? I, okay. And, it's but everybody, I I do the fandom stuff since we're a fandom show. Yeah, I, don't I guess that would be, do you know, the... How about I not tell you how to do your job? Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Erica, I got to agree. Sometimes they say credits, and you're like, "Oh no, don't say that." Oh, not that one. <laughs> yeah. Erica, you direct now? Yes, slowly. I oh. am doing that. So yeah. When are you going to hire me to work for you? Well, when I get a job to direct. Oh. <laughs> so, you know how it is in this business and maybe it isn't for you but like every time you go to a new group of people or a new studio or a new network you have to be like hi i don't know if you know me but i have worked in the business for a while and then you have to reintroduce yourself and stuff so i'm in that process now in the land of lifetime and homework uh -huh. so that's Ooh. what i'm trying to do with them all right look look at looking forward to uh one of the many christmas uh offerings next uh, next year that's right well now now they're a machine like they put out new year spring love summer love like it, it's all the time and it's 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 a it's Thank a great God. it's a great gig it's it's you know, it's work and work is work yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> Well, Erica, absolutely glad to have you back. Welcome and well, thank you for joining us. And finally, he is an actor, director, and producer whose credits include Judging Amy, Lucifer, and Professionals. Today, he joins us to talk about the role of Clark Kent, a.k.a. The Blur. Please welcome back Tom Welling. Yay! 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 I was wondering if I was going to be let into this. Um, <laughs> I think I, I, I love it when we talk about everybody getting, John's got a job in New York, and we're all like, ooh, what do you want? Is there a, is there a role for me? <laughs> it's like, Erica, your director. Can you hire me? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. John knows. Tom, how are you doing in your part of the world? I'm doing great, thanks. I'm happy to be here. I'm glad you guys could make it. I'm happy Rosamund's not here and then too bad John's busy. Does that but, mean we can uh, actually talk? What's that? We got Rosenbaum here. We get to actually say things. Well, yeah. He said he didn't want to do it so you could do all the talking. Oh, uh, uh, there you go. Hey, Tom, real quick before we start, I, I just wanted to throw this out uh, because we lost director Ivan Reitman recently and you got to work with him on Draft Day, a, a, a film that I think is very undervalued. Um, Thank you. And, no, no, no. I, no, I think it, I think it <laughs> deserves more recognition than it's gotten. But uh, I Thank just you. wanted to say, yeah, what was, what was that experience like working with Ivan? He was like a. I mean, I only worked with him uh, on that film, but he was just such a warm angel, sort of knowledgeable, wise dude. Like you you knew he knew what he was doing, but he had this grace about how he was with everyone and everybody wanted to be around him and work with him. Uh, I, I saw that him and Kevin were definitely on the same page, which made me feel better um, about my own insecurities. But he was just, he was just like a really soulful, chill, smart guy. Yeah, I was sorry to hear that. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Well, that being said, thank you for sharing that with me. And guests, welcome again back to the GalaxyCon virtual stage. Our team's going through the chat room right now, pulling out the questions for us. In the meantime, I'd just like to throw this out. For each of you, uh, on your time in the Smallville set, uh, what would you say might have been the craziest day you experienced? Oh, which one? <laughs> I remember one where I had to play a zombie. I had to get the zombie disease or whatever at some point, and, and that was really obnoxious. And I had to wear the glass, like the the contacts, and then froth at the mouth, and then and do all the stuff that you know. It, it looks like it's cool, but when you're actually performing it, you're making all these weird sounds, and it's like really quiet, and it's just very uncomfortable. But then I somehow miraculous miraculously got healed, and then we had to chase and f the zombies chase us up the stairs. You and I, Tom, and you had these like great kick ass boots and I was running around in four inch heels trying to kick the, the zombies down the hill and I was like secretly quite resentful of you. Zombies in Smallville? <laughs> He's like, he's so comfortable. Why I can't I speak up for myself? Season oh, six, God. episode three, I believe. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> it was just one of the many People times like, that yeah, something right. happened. But that is what was great about Smallville, right? Like, I mean, it's a little bit weird and uncomfortable, but you were also, I was never bored. 
Like there was always some time that you were going to get red, red kryptonite or something else was going to happen to one of us. We would be possessed and get to do something different. So I got to work with Rutger Hauer. Oh yeah. Kind of thrilling. Yeah. We, we, we were, yeah, I had a bunch of scenes with him and everything. Was that after Smallville when he was, cause he was on Smallville in the Luther Tower. I worked with him. Well, I did too. I did too, Tom. But no, but you're talking about on Smallville? I think so. Is that his name? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It was his name. Yeah. I hadn't been killed yet. I guess the craziest yeah. day was when one of the drivers came up to me and said, what do you think, what do you think about them killing you this season? I said, what? He said, oh, yeah, they're going to kill you. Oh, my God. That's how I found out. Well, it's the Teamsters know everything first. What's they what? Oh, yeah, they the do. Teams, okay. Because I, I think it's because they deliver this. Back then, they used to deliver the scripts. This is, if, if you guys, I don't know if you remember, but it wasn't just like quick email blasts. No one really yeah. trusted the baby. So they would knock on your door at 3 o'clock in the morning. There would be, there'd be a draft of the script. And. Who knows if they were outside reading it just before to see well, what they happened? They were talking about it, and the, the you know when they drive around to find oh, the location. Yeah. So they were talking about how I was going to get killed that year. So he decided he was going to tell me. <laughs> wow! wow. <laughs> Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I'd ra I'd rather know than not know. Well, I guess, but I you know I would have <laughs> rather somebody else told me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have told you. I wouldn't have had the guts to tell you if I knew. Oh, no well, way. Oh, yeah. uh, I, would, I, I, I would have told your I would have told your driver to tell you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I didn't have a driver. <laughs> oh, that was what Andrew. What's that? Oh man. Yeah. Oh God. Good Laura. You guys. But Rutger Howard, he's a he was an interesting cat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've heard. Oh boy. What season did he do? Tom. I don't what know. Was, what was, the season, Tom? Well, I remember the episode because my stunt double Chris Sayre did this. Oh, well, season did, three. Was it season yeah. three? Yes, yeah. yeah, someone just wrote that. Because they did a stunt on what's called a decelerator, which allows someone to jump off a building on a on a rope. And as they, they fall, they free fall, and within 20 feet of the ground, it's supposed to stop them. And it didn't? No, and it well, it did this time. Oh. But it was like a I don't know, 200, like it was a 200 story building. I mean, it was the biggest building. You, you would think no one would ever do that. So I, it was that episode. And you did that? Uh, my, I think it wasn't, my stun double did it, but for another character. <laughs> I, maybe, maybe it was when Lionel was thrown off the building. Was that it? That was season seven. That's season seven. And that's, that, that, that's probably it then. Yeah. yeah I, something bit me. <laughs> Just now? I bit you. Oh, I bit you. Oh, I was like, you did an episode where somebody bit you? That's what oh. I thought too. Was it called, I, was it called Bitten? That was another show. It was a show called Bitten. No, like something bit me. I'm having a weird reaction right now. So just oh, put it okay. in there. Remember when okay. you were doing Bitten and we were both in Toronto and you were like, I hate it. It's so cold and it's nighttime. And I was like, yeah, you're a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great for a while, Eric. It's a doctor show and you're inside all the time. Erica, Kristen, and I were all in the same city for a while working That's on different true. shows. So it was really nice. Yeah. There you have it. Yeah. And uh, what do, what was the craziest day for you, Laura? On Smallville. Um, yeah. The first thing that comes to mind, and Tom knows, is when I passed out in my harness. That was a bit of a, no, that's a lie. That's not the craziest day. But it did happen. It did happen. Um, cut off my artery and I passed out. But... I think the craziest day for me was probably like one of my first episodes where it was winter in Vancouver and they put me in a water tank in the parking lot to do this underwater. Why did they try to drown all of us? They did. They what? They tried to drown all of us. <laughs> That's how they get rid of our characters. <laughs> but when uh, Supergirl saves uh, Lex from the car crash and they had me just floating in suspended water in the parking lot and it was cold. Um, so that was the most interesting experience, but the most memorable is probably passing out. That would do it. Yeah. That would, that would absolutely how, do it. How long were you out? Tom? I don't remember. I wasn't really. No, it was like, it was like, she, she was, she was warned. She was in a flying harness. She was 30 I wasn't years. warned. And I, she was warned by me that I said, if you're feeling uncomfortable, 
you, you know, say something before it gets worse because you're going to try to tough it out, but it's not worth it. They can put you down for 30 seconds. Everything's fine. Yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said that. And then all of a sudden, Laura's like sitting there and I was like, you're all right. You're all right. And I had already gone down twice because I'm like, I don't need to stay up here if we're not filming. And she's like, I got it. I'm fine. And we get up there and all of a sudden she just kind of was like, Whew. and it was like, put her down, put her down, put her down. And by the time she got down to the bottom, she was just a little sort of out of it. But then she wanted to go right back into it. I mean, anybody who knows Laura knows she wants to get right back to it. So, and she did. After they gave me oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lauren. <laughs> Uh, that's showbiz. <laughs> we are going to go to audience questions, so let's go ahead and roll our first. And this one comes from Mark, who wants to know, if you could have any power seen on Smallville, which one would you choose? Super speed. Super speed. <laughs> oh, that was... I have so much that I have to get done all the time. I'd really like to be able to super speed through it. Yep. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't know if because you can super speed doesn't mean you can do things faster. You just get from point A to point B. You just don't have to deal with traffic. Mm. Okay. I think, also now that I think about it, flying might be great, but we didn't really fly on Smallville. No. I mean, no. I did. Well, well some of us did. <laughs> you did. Pass out. Pass out. I just every time, every time Cara left the ground, she passed out and came down like a chicken. <laughs> Low blood pressure. Um, I would choose invisibility or flying. There you go. Yep. It was, it was one. You had to choose one. Well, I'm choosing two. <coughs> she, she John, what that. would you do? I would uh, get, get a better brain because it's now harder for me to learn lines. That I never remember having to learn lines. But when you're 77, you got some brain stuff, missing stuff, I think. So I'd Did like you, a, a refreshed brain. You wanted like Brainiac, what Brainiac had. Okay, just so I can learn the lines faster, like I used yeah. to be able, well, like a youth I used to be, because I was one. You still look like one, John. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know you were 77. And by, the, by the way, there's no one in the history of mankind whose hair can grow faster than John. Like every, he's either shaved his head, he's got long hair. And he I don't does. know if you're a stylist or it's omega threes, or I don't know what it no. is. Jeans, I think it's the. You got great hair. Yeah. What? Oh, Breitner? No, great hair. You've oh. always had great hair. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. I'm trying to get up to you. Yours is mine isn't as thick as it used to be, but I still got it. Still and when you got it, boom, 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 boom. And there you have it. Mark, great question to start us off with. Thank you for that. And what's next? Here's one from Ida. Have you any of you uh, received something from the set? Or I'll Let's phrase see. it. Have you found yourself in possession of anything? <laughs> I was just I was just in Vancouver last weekend. I saw Erica. We were doing a con up there, and someone gave me a, um, a copy of their wet, like a like a almost like a wedding invitation, but it was pictures from their wedding, and they got married at the Kent Farm, and it was like very pretty. So that to me, that feels like a souvenir. And that was the sweet. That is that is nice. Yeah. Yeah. I stole stuff. You did? Anything good? From different sets. So whatever. What are they going to do to me? I remember I took one T-shirt. It was a really good one. It was a black one. I have my <laughs> Lois Lane plaque. Oh. And my cup. John, you didn't steal that black T-shirt. You forgot to take it off and then neglected to bring it back. <laughs> That's no, not I stealing. A wardrobe, a girl that did it for me. She said, promise never to tell anybody. It's really <laughs> expensive. I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. No, so no, Lois Lane. I don't you've been down there, Tom, but I mean, it's probably not there anymore, but a couple of our outfits from there were in the Smallville, were in the museum at Warner Brothers for a while, which was kind of neat. Was oh, really? Place. Yeah. And I'm a big nerd, and I was like, look at it. It's in there. It was neat. So we we were on rotation for a moment. That's cool. Yeah, right. I would, no, no one, I, I, no one told me about that. Yeah, it was really. Neat. I, just, I just like the fact that you got the Lois Lane plaque. That's a nice. What, that's what, a nice hit. Was Clark wearing the red jacket with the blue shirt or the blue jacket with the red shirt? I don't remember. I, I don't. It certainly wasn't the blur jacket. 
Oh, Very that's good. Question. That's good. The blur. I can still say it. The blur. The blur. I had the easiest wardrobe on the show on purpose for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> but depending on what you wore, I always had to wear the opposite. Color, yeah. Did you resent that, Laura? Did I? Resent that? That, uh, he, that he set the standard, basically? No. I was just I'm, looking, I'm looking to cause some trouble here. That's I did <laughs> resent I did resent the uh, Daisy Duke shorts. Oh. Pops. I did not resent those on you, I have to say. Oh, no, wait. I just saw a, a clip that somebody showed on the Instagram where you hardly in anything. That, that, that happened a lot on that Daisy show. Duke. Was that the bathing suit? No, you, I don't know. You had a little bit on the top and a very bit, a little, little, little or a bit in the middle. And and he has said, you have to go change. Cause I thought he was gonna burn down the barn again or something. Cause he was getting so, that that's that was my favorite episode. It's when, when, when Snidey was teaching you how to do us. Yes. <laughs> you get erect and everything, you know. <laughs> Oh my God! I said that. I didn't mean it wasn't. It wasn't hothead. That was some. I know what you mean. It, it was. Yeah. yeah. Did he teach you how to light the fire? Heat. Maybe heat. heat. Yeah. Yeah. It would heat. You would. You would. You like you <laughs> did it once in school at the blackboard or something. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. That was my favorite. You know. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's sexual. <laughs> oh, is it <laughs> that on the air? Yeah. Uh, Laura, did you, uh, <laughs> do you have anything from Smallville? I don't know if I can top that conversation. Um, I stole my Kryptonian bracelet. <clears throat> oh, there'd be people showing up at your door. And, um, the back of my chair. I framed my Smallville. Hey, me too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hi. In the basement. Me, mine. Didn't they give you yours? Did they uh, I, I stole one early, and then as a wrap gift, they framed another. So I have two. Oh, you know that's that's a good point. What we should do now? We go on another projects within a week. Steal it. And be like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> then they give you another one. Yeah, chair <laughs> bags are fun. Those little things, and you kind of and be like, guys, what happened to my chair? What are you guys? What kind of set are you <laughs> running around here? I mean, everything that I. Um, borrowed from the set except for the back of my chair i auctioned off to fund my film so i don't have any of it anymore <laughs> that's, smart. that's good I totally kept you one. Go. good for you there you go we uh we got william daniels on tomorrow and he's he's he did the greatest burn out of anybody uh, we've ever had answer this question where at the end of the season he would bring in all the clothes he didn't want anymore and switch them out with the the character wardrobes from uh, boy meets world so he would get all these nice suits and just re just switch them on out with thrift store clothes that he had had and just I'd load them up in his car and just drive away at the end of the season hoping they wouldn't right. notice because he replaced it yeah and they never did because they would always buy new ones obviously he got to away with it a lot yeah <laughs> Well done, dude. I never See, that, that's where Clark's wardrobe works against me. Yeah, you're right. I'm not yeah. going in to buy a bunch of blue and red t-shirts and jackets. <laughs> <laughs> what are two nice suits? That's it. Yeah. There you go. Ida, great question. Thank you. Uh, what's next? From Anthony, what has been your favorite merchandise of the show that you have seen over the years? Hmm. Oh, um, at a convention, I saw candles with our faces on them. Oh, yes. I was the holy candles where we were yeah. like angels or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, some of us looked like Jesus, John. John, you looked like Jesus in yours or white Jesus? Yes, it was Jesus. It's got, got one upstairs. The traditional white Jesus you look like. You know? yeah. yeah. That was cool. Was weird and kind of cool, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. weird and cool. It's like you have it, and then you don't know what to do with it. You do not. Yeah, you pray to yourself. It's, no, I. Yeah, yeah, I have seen those at the shows. So they're fun. Yeah, they they do them for all sorts of franchises. Yeah. What about you guys? Mm. I think I, I found think... Lego Lois, which my kids liked a lot. Oh, that's cool. cool. Yeah, an actual little Lego Lois. Uh, my favorite one to see is when people show up with the Smallville High mm -hmm. varsity jackets. Mm -hmm. Oh. And more times than none, they don't fit anymore. <laughs> you just they really bought them when they were watching the show. You just got a really cool jacket at a convention we were at. And, and I'm, oh, oh my God, there you are. Hello. Hello. I, I pray to you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's me saying, John, back up. Back up. <laughs> No, they, they bring, the story about they the jackets, it. I thought they made you put them on and you were like, these don't fit. Oh, no, no. I don't put on other people's jackets. They don't. Well, I didn't think so, but I thought, well, maybe they wouldn't fit you from when you were 20. Oh, I, no, my, my, my stuff is definitely not. not no. No way. No. But Thomas, at the last convention, I remember you got like a really, really cool jacket with patches on it. And, do you remember? Yeah, I have it. It's in my closet, actually. It it's, looks great on it's you. It's not like a Smallville jacket. It's a um, I forget the name of the company, but it's actually a legitimate like flight jacket, like an air, like a pilot jacket, yes. bomber jacket. I put all these awesome patches on it, and I was like, I guess I'm gonna have to keep this because it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll auction it off for Laura's next film. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna hold to that. I'll do it. All right. You know what I know, yeah. I bet you guys got this a lot too. Is when people are um, had been in the service and they would come through, and they would talk to you about how they watched Smallville when they were on tour somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah. probably you guys all got little things that were. But somebody presented me with an American flag once. I got a flag. And they flew it over yeah. there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I thought oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's suspicious, Tom. Yeah. Well, as a Canadian, what would you? What did you do with it, Erica? I still have it. That's nice. Is it folded like in the triangle? Yeah, it's still in the box. I uh, put I'm, I'm, I'm American too, so like I'm oh, still, yeah. I, I feel a little that's bit right. That's right. But you know the stories, like it's just really sweet when they it's really special. I think those are some of the comments that I think I find the most special is people that say, Oh, I you know, I was out doing that thing and then we'd all come back and watch Smallville or something. That's so that was cool. I'm sure you guys have also met people who um, come to conventions and they actually learned English while watching Smallville. It was the first show they'd seen in English. I've met a few people that wow. oh, cool. taught them. Yeah. So that's really, really neat to hear. That is nice. Are know. you like, yeah, but you haven't perfected your accent yet. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have a dialogue to teach you how to speak <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, there you have it. Anthony, wonderful question. Thank you. Ah, uh, what's next? Here's one from Jerry. Who on the cast do you think influenced or helped you the most? Ooh. Huh. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to talk first, but it very easily for me to say everyone because I did not know anything when I got there. And all I knew is I had to look around and like listen to people and watch how they were operating on and off the camera, whether they were like on time, not on time. Um, I just tried to take everything from everybody. I mean, easy. I mean, John, you're an easy one to pick because you just you you did me great. When you had to be me, I was so jealous of you because I couldn't do you, <laughs> but you did me to perfection. Well, I'd spent years just trying to pull things from everybody. So when I had to look at your character, I was like trying to pull things. I mean, yeah. Michael was a big thing. John Glover, I'm sorry, I, I said that. John Schneider was a huge influence. Um, Annette, Erica, Laura, I mean, you know, Kristen even. I mean, everybody to me was just, I was just like taking in from everybody. So I can't pick one. Um, I felt like every scene I had with every actor was was just influential to, to, to Clark's development. No. I was totally taking that literally and be like, Tom, because I used to bug you all the time when I got hired. Remember we talked about it? Like, <laughs> what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this well, mean? Well, we also work together all the time. And we work together all the time. But I have really great specific memories with, with each actor. Like in the first um, one when I worked with John and you were in the in the um, jail and I was so nervous. And then it was like, there's just this ease with which you did everything. That is like, I just kind of like fell into your tunnel of peace. And you're super sexy. Oh, it, <laughs> it was awful. Remember, you talked about it. You talked about it being part of everybody has secrets, and there's a lot of power in the sexuality and how you play certain things. I thought that was really interesting. Oh, yeah, I said that. You did. Yeah. It's awesome, right? Got and then, Laura, I felt like I had found a, like, Kristen and I didn't get to work together too, too much, but, you know, when in passing, we were, we, we got on quite well. We actually became better friends after work. But when you came, I was like, ah. <laughs> we're both the girls that have to do the things that the other girls are like you should be more firm and we're like mm, yeah, i'm gonna put on my bikini now so, <laughs> I, you had been through all of that before I me so. to have to fulfill, fulfill that role and so it was like we bonded over the 
kind of uncomfortableness of of doing that and passing the other girls and being like, yeah, you hold hold firm. And then we would stand (laughs) in our skivvies, whatever, (laughs) part of life. We bonded over that, I felt. For sure. And like you said, I think I think the three of us, uh, women, Kristen, you and I bonded more after the show. Yeah, totally. I mean, I came on so late. I've said this before that I was I was terrified. Like you guys were already this group and I was like the new kid and I didn't think anyone would like me. I thought I'd get fired. I'd seen the show. I was a fan. Um, but everyone was really welcoming. And and working with Tom, like I, I I had to feed off of him because I didn't know how certain words were even pronounced in the Kryptonian world and how we stand. And he told me about the camera angle to make us look more heroic. And he was really, really, you were great, Tom, guiding me through all of that at the beginning. <laughs> and how to stand. Um, and Erica, same thing. Like John, we didn't get to work together really much at all, except for that. Dead. Were you, was I wasn't I dead by the time you got there? Uh, season seven. That was when I got it. That's when you got it. Yeah. Well, Lex, he pushed me out the window. Yeah. Yeah. But I suggested that he kill me. I thought it would make him a good Lexer. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I'm sad I didn't get to work with a lot of the cast. So. Well, it. So one of the things that I was thinking about today, because I thought this question might come up, is I I loved as someone who you know I watched every episode because I, I was a I was a producer and director, so there were there were notes on edits. So I never I, I'm not saying I saw the finished episode of each, but I saw everyone's scenes, and it was always fun to see. You know, I had scenes with everybody, and then like you know Lex and Lionel and you know that kind of stuff. But when it was like Lionel and Martha or Jonathan and Lex, where it was like a complete cross and all this energy would come into these scenes that the audience knew about, but the characters didn't. I did think those were always like really cool. It'd be interesting if, um, cause I don't recall a scene that 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 Lionel and, and, and Cara had, but I, wonder, <laughs> I can see Lionel just sort of stopping on the street and being like, who are you? <laughs> like just, just somehow knowing somehow feeling that there was something special I, that, that I could see that. Yeah. We should, we should uh, introduce characters that were never introduced on the show. Well, as-, as, you, as you guys all know, we're trying to do this animated thing that looks like it's going to happen. And so, cool. you know, we'll be open. All, that'd be fun. Yeah. Really fun. Ah, very nice. I, by, by the way, Michael and I just <laughs> assume everybody's on board. Yes. If anyone's not, that's fine too. But I'll be all good. <laughs> you know. I'm Erica's like, I'm not doing that actually. Let's do it. It'd be fun. Yeah. Of course. I'd love to. It'd yeah. be fun. If I survive this bite. Well, that, I think that's going to be the end of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I told you that's a very, like, wow. I grew up in my church and I saw a lot of those pictures kind of like that. You would pray to me, wouldn't you? Yeah. Were they that handsome? Well, we do. That is handsome. I just line up my Smallville candles every night and pray to all of them. <laughs> I, a new job. I pray that this bite on my arm <laughs> way. You can please help me sell this couch. <laughs> on my couch. I hope I survived the bite. That's all we need to know from this. Now, anybody who picks up the couch can find out whether or not Laura has uh, survived. Her couch is for sale. Yes. Which money goes to Tom, right? No. No. <laughs> and then I'll donate to you next time. Wow, but he just ends up getting these percentages still. <laughs> Random percentage for my shoe sale. I'm here, <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> I'm size 11. <laughs> uh, John, no. Uh, when you got to the set of Smallville, did uh, did anyone uh, help you help show you the ropes on that set? Show me. No, no. no. It's too awesome. John is. Just- I know. I know. I just. I said. No, I, I somebody dropped out, and I got a call from my uh, agent, and they said they're doing this thing about Superman and uh, I mean Clark Kent in school, and the the guy they wanted. Uh, backed out or dropped out or got a mother job. And so they're offering it to you and they may have you back a couple of times. 
Yeah, I, I know that I know that Lionel wasn't supposed to be there as I, I mean, I didn't know at the time, but it's a fact that he wasn't supposed to be around that much. And then John came in and everybody's like, we need this guy around. I mean, he's just I was most grateful. I felt very uh, uh, that made me feel good. That other guy's like that other guy's like, I didn't know that characters were going to last seven seasons. <laughs> I don't know who it was. Though. But it might not know. have lasted that long with the I'll other find actor. Out. It might oh. not have lasted that long with the other actor. When John came on, they were probably like, holy. That's true. We got to keep this guy. Oh, break, shucks. Break out, break, break, break out character, break out actor. You know, yeah. This is what it is. Jerry, great question. Thank you for that. And a reminder to our audience, if you would like to chat with our guests like I am now or purchase an autograph, please sign up at galaxycon.com. And let's roll another one. And here's one from... Nancy, if you could, what words of wisdom would you give your younger selves who are just starting out in their careers? Do it. Do it whenever you can. You can learn from, well, I learned on the stage and, and you learn a lot from an audience. Uh, so I was always scared to go to acting school because they were, um, I thought they'd laugh at me or something. I don't know, with fellow actors. To, so I just got a, as many jobs as I could and work all the time and learn from doing, like I guess what Tom did. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. I you was know. just trying to get a job, yeah. And it turned out the one that the, the one that stuck was Smallville. Um, I, I actually find myself trying to remind myself of that now when I'm trying to get work and that, that thing that comes in of like, I don't know if that's for me or uh, next thing you know, you know, it's, you know, years can go by. You got to remind yourself. I, I wouldn't tell my younger self anything because whatever I did back then worked for it. And I think I would probably give myself bad advice now in, in as far as Smallville goes. There's other things I would give some advice about. I, I would you. give some other insight, but yes. Um, but John, no, that's, that's actually brilliant. That idea of like, and, and a lot of times, I don't know if you guys have found this, but I, I can kind of sense it like agents and managers and our lawyers and all these people, what they're secretly saying is just keep working. Because even the one you choose that you think is going to be a hit, there's a there's no chance that you don't know. You, you have yep. no idea. Yep, yep, so yep. just keep working. Yep. Work it. Go for the challenge. Yep. That, they're the best ones when you think, oh, God, I can't do that. Yeah. You know, it's good. And you think, well, okay, all right. But I'll do it and do it the best I can and give it my all. And many times they're the best. Yeah, because you work the hardest. Yeah, absolutely. And you and and that 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 thing of um not knowing if it's good or not. You're just going for it. No. Yeah. 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 Working, working. You I'm a work actor. You guys rock that answer. Oh. <laughs> uh, Erica, what advice would you give a younger you self? Know what I was gonna say right away, I was gonna say, um, I would probably tell my younger self, like, don't be so hard on yourself or you've got this or breathe or trust yourself. But then mm -hmm. again, you grow into certain things. And so then maybe the character would have shifted. Like the thing that I kind of despised about myself ended up being, you know, as Thomas said before, like it kind of ended up being part of Lois's neuroses, which actually ended up working. So then, I meant then that as, a, as, a, as a positive compliment, yes. But, but yeah, and I and I, it's just maybe me being overly complicated and overcomplicating things worked in that moment. Well, I, I, the, the, the quick example I have is Erica would come in and, and she would be so like ready to go and, and, and that did transfer over to Lois. And she would sort of, it, it would seem as though she was searching for her words at the time when I knew for a fact that she knew her lines. And then they started writing her dialogue with like dot, dot, dot and ellipses and trying to stagger where the sort of skips were. And I remember you coming in and you're like, what is, what is this shit? What is that? What is, why, are they, why are all these dots here? She goes, I can do that myself. I can fuck up my dialogue all by myself. And I remember there was a conversation and it stopped. You, I think you said, I will fuck up my dialogue all by myself. You don't have to write it. <laughs> I did. And it was I brilliant. Did. I did. Tom, there may be some younger people. Oh, working, excuse me. Who haven't learned to use that word quite yet. Like, I, but that was part of the problem. That younger version of myself, I'm I'm a bit nicer inside my head. The younger version of myself is if I did mess up on set, I'm like, you fucking idiot. 
Mm -hmm. Like I was rage, full on rage. Like you got this job, they paid you to do this. And now they're all sitting there and waiting. And I was like, you know, way too intense. I know I'm intense now, but like I was. <laughs> Honestly, that's not a bad thing. It shows that you care. You took your job seriously. When we're not nervous, when we don't care, that's yeah. when you need to be concerned. But I think you have to find a balance before that becomes way too self-involved. Yeah. And, so and like. Story. And like John said, we have to stop, stop saying the F word in, in, on this. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm so sorry. That's all right. I forgive you. I'm in the. If, we, if we had children, we'd know this. Not the same we, motherfucker. We just, we'll just, yeah, yes. We have been sorry. forgiven. <laughs> uh, Laura, bring us home. What would you, advice would you give to your, your younger self? Well, my immediate thought is don't do it, but um, I'm going to everything that you go. No, don't do it. Everything. Don't I don't do want it. Job. Oh, Laura. Uh, <laughs> honest to honest to God, honest to Jesus, Tom Candle. Um, what would you have done? I would have. No, I, I would tell myself to have more fun. Mm -hmm. I took it so seriously. I started when I was 13. And it was a job. I wanted to be like the adults. I wanted to be memorized and perfect and like have everyone like me, uh, which I think a lot of young women also relate to. And then you get to the age of that's, men. That's, wow. that's how they coach young people, like young actors. Yeah. That's They teach you, everybody has to like you or you're bad. Yeah. Which is not fair. Very, it was very yeah. militant. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in Canada, uh, you have to be off book. You have to be polite. You know, all the things that children should be. But uh, it, I, I missed out on having so much fun as a kid. Even on Smallville, you know, I think it, right after Smallville, mm -hmm. I went, wait a minute, I'm not having fun. It's okay to laugh on set. Like, no one's going to fire you. You can joke around, you know. And I saw you guys were very light in between scenes. And that taught me it was okay so I would tell myself to just chill the F out and enjoy it. <laughs> we all stir in our heads. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you. I think, and and looking back, I think that, I mean, it's easy to look back. I, I, I There was very little that I enjoyed about the experience. And when there could have been, if I had had the older or wiser perspective and, you know, yeah. Michael had a pretty good perspective on it. He's like, if you're not having fun and getting the job done, then what are you doing? You know, John is obviously very much a professional, but he was still having fun. Like, yeah, but I would today. just be, I was, would be this like, dread wasn't there. This like just like self like punishment all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And also for you, Tom, you could see like you had so much dialogue in every scene. Like there's no rest no. Um, for you to just go. I can have fun today because you're already thinking about the next day. And yeah. so just try I, to slow that down. Were, my my favorite was when like actors would come to set and they'd be like, oh my God, I had such a great time this weekend. I did this, I did this, and then we went, and I'd just be like, uh-huh. And then <laughs> and then they'd come in for their scene and they'd go to leave and like, oh my God, thank God, because I'm finally gonna be able to go meet so and so. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go do another scene. But yeah. like or two. But that's that's the job. I mean, I get it. What like when I I was on a show Lucifer for a season. I had so much fun on that show because I had so much more perspective that you can get the work done and have fun, and it it doesn't need to be the end of the world. Any of it, it's not. It's a it's a TV show. It's a movie. Yeah. Um, I read this article where Keanu Reeves. They were like, "Isn't it tough making a movie?" And he laughed and he goes, "It's a movie. <laughs> like, have some perspective here. You know, be professional and get it done." But I was like, "Yeah, I wish I." And sort of known that a little bit more, but I enjoyed working, you know, with you guys. What everything was great about it, and it was still, you know, that's how it goes. Right on. That's I guess Nancy. Great question. Thank you. I think we have time for one more. Let's see if we can go out on a really fun one. And this is gonna come from Niles. If you were all in a band, what would that band's name be? We need my girl to band together. Yes. <laughs> Where's Michael? Uh, yeah. so no, 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 no flight, something. Maybe the Michael Letts. No. No. My, that, the, I, I think we all are. Michael would be the one to name it. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, well, the Candles, maybe the Saints of Smallville. Oh. oh Jesus. That's no, not that's, that's, yeah. And it would be like a heavy metal goth thing. Like, we, yeah. like Saints. <laughs> or, or Smallville Saints, maybe. Cheatville something. 
And our and our video would be like walking out of Crater Lake, like all muddy and like playing music. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. Like it. Yeah, dripping mud. Black metal, black metal band. All right, there you have it. Niles, great question. Thank and you. Galaxy Scott viewers, this has been my time with the cast of Smallville and Smallville Saints. And but it does not have to be yours. <laughs> if you'd like, if you'd like to share with our guests like I have today or purchase a personalized autograph, please sign up at galaxycon.com. And while you're there, please check out our schedule of upcoming events just like this one. Uh guys, it's been an absolutely wonderful. Any final words before we take our leave? Thank you. Thanks, thank everybody. You. Nice yeah, to see thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you guys for being here. Thanks for people to watch it. It's always great seeing all you guys. I think that's one of the, the, the best things about Smallville. And I know that while we were shooting it, we were all sort of crossing so quickly, but I think we've all actually got more of a relationship after the fact. And I think that's yeah. that's really cool. I, I'm always love seeing you guys. It's swell. It's okay swell. seeing you. Absolutely swell. <laughs> it has been my absolute pleasure to host you all. Once again, thank you for joining us here on the GalaxyCon virtual stage. Thank you to our audience for joining us. And as always, thank you for your great questions. Hope to see everybody again soon. Until then, bye-bye, take care. And remember, smiles are free, so spend them often.